he had the nerve to say, and I heard him on the speaker say, if I find out that my son is calling that nigga daddy, I'm gonna beat his ass. So I heard that you wanted to fight me? I suggest you should rethink that plan. My father didn't raise no punk, taught me how to be nice with these hands. He also taught me that any young boy could run around planting seeds, but sticking around to watch him grow was the true definition of being a man. But he was on some stuff. If I find out that my son is calling that nigga daddy, I'ma beat his ass. Well, there ain't nothing but space and opportunity. Don't let misplaced pride and ego get you chin check. The last time that I checked, it's been a month of Sunday since you sent in a check. I advise you to check your ego at the same door our son keeps on looking at, hoping that you'll come through. But you, you're the type of dude who wants props and kudos for supposed tos like buying him a bike on Christmas, but faking to see him on New Year's. I'm trying to break the cycle. Don't want him going down the same path. Remember that day you asked me if the shoe was on the other foot, what would I do? Simple. My shoes would have never walked out of my son's life. It feels like I'm raising two kids, him and you. I should claim you on my taxes, nigga. The only thing that's worse than an absentee father who does not take care of his kid is a part-time dad who claims for the little responsibility shit that he did. It's like, he had the nerve of saying, I paid for daycare this week. Motherfucker, you supposed to. I bought him a pair of shoes. Motherfucker, you supposed to. I taught him how to tie a tie. Motherfucker, you supposed to. Get out your feelings and be there for your kid. Because I didn't come up with the idea of him calling me father. He did. If it's true that you left your pregnant queen to start a whole new family, leaving the door open for a man to come in and take care of an unexpected prince, and if it's really true that it takes a village to raise a child and you're upset over it, then you, my friend, are the village idiot. I'm still working on the name of this poem. It's either Russell Wilson's future looking over the Sierra or nigga, you got me fucked up. <laughs> Dedicated to every stepfather who had to step in when a little man didn't take care of his little man, I understand. Trust me, I understand. Thank you. Ladies, make some noise.